All right, YouTube, welcome back. Just feeding the tangs some romaine. These guys love it. Wall tangs love it. Let me show you the self. And when I first bought him, he had a nice white line. Well, not nice. It was, it was dramatic. It was all the way down on his left side. From what you can't see it on this side, but when he turns, you'll be able to see it. But it's pretty much almost gone. So the reason I'm bringing it up is, you know, feed the fish a variety of food. Uh, I like to feed them a lot so they're happy and healthy and see I've made an improvement on the selfin. You know we took them out of the ocean might as well protect them. All right well let me move on to the UV sterilizer and how I plumbed it and my fresh air line that I finally ran. Okay so there's the air intake to the uh, skimmer goes up here it has a little offset for the framing and then there's a hole um, above my ceiling in the garage there's a uh, attic which has fresh air and um, it should do pretty good I'm gonna watch it and let you guys know if it doesn't work I, I'm gonna patch the hole before my wife sees it but anyways uh, so it, it, it should bring the pH up I'll let you guys I'll keep you guys post on that and uh, that should help. So, onto the UV sterilizer. So, it's coming up right off that red valve right there. Uh, does a 180, comes back over here. I bought a gate valve for it so I can fine tune it. Uh, I got the Neptune flow meter, which is a half inch right there. And I put three unions in one before, one in the middle, and one at the end. That way, I can clean all these components, take them apart, and clean them. Um, or change them out, you know, if they if they fail or go bad on me. So the half inch one, uh, it has it comes with two fittings on either side that you can thread in with and put Teflon on there, and I glued in the other part so I can take it out of the pipe, twist those off, and clean that little wheel inside there. And so it just goes on down to the bottom of a uh, UV light, uh, and then from there it flows up through the through the light column and comes out through the top. It goes up here and goes back back to the tank. All right, so uh, let me let you guys in. Uh, about 48 hours ago, I've had this light running and my average uh, ORP was about 220, 250. I think it was close to 220. And now it's 320. So that's a great improvement on uh, on getting the water uh, a little bit cleaner, if you will. You know, UV lights, uh, they'll kill off, you know, algae and bacteria and everything, but, um, you know, they're not a cure-all for disease. They're not a cure-all for really anything. They just help out just like everything else does. So that's why I bought it, not, not because uh, it'll just, uh, it's gonna work wonders but it's not it's just gonna help out so let me uh, do a close-up here's that's my update and uh, here's myself in he's getting big and healthy and that marks almost gone so there's still two, two little dots above his forehead I don't know what that those are just from when he was caught or he just had them actually they're healing up now that I see him up close you know what I might do? I might go after that miracle mud and run some kind of a some kind of a setup with that too, because that would be good for the fish and good for the water. All right, I'll leave you with this and uh, take a look at the fish for a minute. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.